Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. So we're at the end of June 2019 and we have a ton, a ton of rumours about the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Pro. But some of these rumours have made me start to scratch my beard and wonder why Samsung? Why? So we need to talk about them. Let's get started. Let's start by covering some of the ground that we've already had on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Whether it's this tweet from Ice Universe where he's talking about the comparison between the Note 10 and the Note 10 Pro, or it's this tweet from Ice Universe who is most certainly a Samsung employee where he's talking about the reduced chin and the sound on display technology which is going to improve the already excellent speakers on the Note series. Or it's this tweet from Max Weinbeck of XDA Developers where he's talking about a top 10 list of features on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Pro and no, there is not going to be a headphone jack. More on that in a separate video. Next, let's talk about this article from 2015, link in the description right next to that like button where the writer is lamenting the loss of a removable battery and expandable storage on the then Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Now, let's talk about the fact that the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, the regular version, will not have expandable storage, but the Pro Edition will have expandable storage. There are three reasons why I think Samsung is doing this. The first reason has to do with UFS 3.0, Universal Flash Storage 3.0, technically, not practically, twice as fast as UFS 2.1, the current standard. I'm going to link to this interesting article in the description from Android Central, which does a comparison between UFS 3.0, UFS 2.1, and EMMC 5.1. Interestingly, the currently launched Pixel 3a, the piece of garbage that Google just rolled out, uses EMMC 5.1, which is six times slower than UFS 3.0. Look at the corners that Google has cut. Anyway, UFS 3.0 is way, way faster than SD cards and having them in the same phone is bound to cause differences because Android, as you know, supports micro SD cards being used as an extension of the internal storage and used to load up apps. Bottlenecks are bound to emerge. The second reason has to do with micro SD cards themselves. A, they are confusing. You don't know as a normal user whether you should buy SDHC, SDXC, U1 or U3 or Grade 1 or Grade 2. B, they are not very reliable. Either you can go for a good brand like Samsung, Kingston, SanDisk or you can go for a better price from some brand on AliExpress and you'll end up buying a 128 GB micro SD card which will only have actually 64 GB on it. Even if you go for a good brand, you could go for a bad seller who will sell you a fake which looks exactly like the original. And see, they are slow. While they advertise speeds of 100 Mbps read and write, they get nowhere close to that number and there's a lot of bottlenecking and throttling when you're trying to read and write content to your micro SD card. The third and final reason why I think Samsung could have removed the micro SD card slot on the Note 10 and not on the Note 10 Pro is the difference in their user's perception of the Note series. There is one class of user who perceives the Note series as just another phone. Yes, it's got amazing specs, a large display and the S Pen, but they will probably change the phone the next year. So 128 GB of base internal storage is perfectly good enough for them. There is also the Pro user who considers this as a workhorse phone and will need to use the micro SD card slot on the phone which will allow them to back up their content from their internal storage to the micro SD card but not use the micro SD card as their primary means of storage. For these users, a micro SD card slot is a must have. It's like having a portable hard drive in their pocket for them to keep their backups. Anyway, this is just me thinking out loud. I want to know what you guys think. Why do you think Samsung removed the micro SD card slot on the regular Samsung Galaxy Note 10? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, go over to YouTube, subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel and also turn on notifications so that you never miss a video.